Genesis 27 and 38. And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have, have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then would I slay. Uh, Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Yep, there you go. His, his blessing was the, uh, the fatness of the earth and the uh, the sword. Okay? He said we would, he would serve us, but we he will break his yoke when we have dominion. Okay? Go ahead. Read that in Revelation. It's the same one again. Yeah. Uh, Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. Yep, that's that dominion. Okay, and that great sword is his military, his military might. Okay? Go ahead. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him, and he that sat on him had a pair of bounces in his hands. That, that, hey, that's that's that uh, that's that uh, that good old slavery right there. Okay, the pair of balances in his hands. Okay, go ahead. And I heard a voice say. No, and I heard a voice say in the midst of the fourth beat of the four beasts, say a measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see that, <clears throat> and see thou, and see thou heard not the oil and the wine, which is the elect. The oil and the wine is the elect. That that the measure of the wheat for a penny, measure of barley for a penny. That's that that hard that hardcore slavery basically. And they was they were making that good good old Lucci office, you know. Go ahead. And the oil, you know what I'm saying? That's the word. That's the understanding of the scriptures. Yep, yep. Yep, good water, brother. Okay. That's why it's the oil and the wine. Mm -hmm. I got that little precept. Yeah. Yep. Isaiah 24 and uh 10. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man uh, may come in. There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened and the mirth of the land is gone. Yep, that's that, that crying for wine is, is the word. Uh, just like they said, Amos, not a cry for, uh, there's a famine, not a famine of bread or water, but for the word, okay? The word is, is, uh, is, is in relative, um, it's in relation to to uh, to wine, oil, bread, and things of that nature. Okay. Remember, in the Proverbs it says, uh, "Wisdom cried out in the streets." Huh? Uh, yep. Uh, verse seven. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, "Come and see." And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. Oh, oh, that's that's the, that's what she has. She has a picture of a pale horse. Go ahead. <laughs> and his name that sat on him was Death. Yep, death. Go ahead. And hell followed him. And hell, so followed. hell followed with him. Yep. And hell, and hell, and hell is not on the carriage. It's, it's not on the back. You know, you can't take hell and, and <laughs> yeah, you know, you got Hades on the back of a horse, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, riding. No. Hell is talking about cruel and unusual punishment, man. That's talking about some hard times. You're, you're fine. You can walk wherever you want, man. All right. Uh, let's talk about that cruel and unusual punishment, okay? That's that hell. That pale horse is going to bring that hell. Because we read about, we're going to get into it, but we read about this in 2 Ezra, the 15th chapter. Give me that in Amos. Um, I'd rather die by the sword. You know what I'm saying? You know what yeah, I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, Go ahead. Is it Amos? Yeah, it's Amos. I might have to believe. It says, and hell follow with him. And the power was given unto them over the fourth for the socket. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. Yep. So he gave the power of uh, Slocket. Read that again. Yeah. 
And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and hell followed with him. Right. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword and with hunger and with and with death and the beast and with the beast of the earth. And with the beast of the earth, because that's talking about that famine. Basically, it's going to give power over the sword, power over uh, the animals and everything, because everything is going to get hungry. And just like in Second Ezra said, they shall go into their neighbor's house because of the want of bread. Okay, because of the lack of bread. All right. You got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Lamentations 4 and 9. Lamentations. Wow. Okay, good. <laughs> wow. Lamentations 4 and 9. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. Yeah, that's why hell's going to follow with it. Because they that be slain with sword is better than they that that's going to be uh, that be slain with hunger because you're dying a slow death. That's going to be a horrible life to not know where your next meal is going to come from. All right? I'm talking about not like you know, you run out of food stamps for the month, you know you're going to get food stamps next month. I'm talking about when there's no food in, in Walmart, okay? And the only place you know where there's food is, is that they're, 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 they're quarantining you off from that city, okay? That's, 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 a, that's a real famine when there's actually no food, okay? You're looking at your, and when, when you nigger women are looking at your children, like a, a, a ten piece, a ten piece and a biscuit, you know? For these pin away, <coughs> stricken through for want of the fruits of the field. Hey, and uh, if I could add on to that, because in them days, people was going to rat, like you said, they're going to rather be dead. But the Most High said in Revelation, he had uh, had a revealed in Revelation, that some shall seek death and not find it. He's going to make you suffer, man. You're going to bring that back, bring that World uh, War, the old World War scheme back. You know what I'm saying? Where people got half their body blown up but still survived. And, and, and shake it. The only time they walk straight when they move backwards or some shit like that. You know, the most high gonna have you. <laughs> That's fucked up. Now like, you don't need to go to what backwards? I'm back and shake and walk backwards. Cool. Like, I can't do nothing like this. Oh man. Judgment. Verse nine. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw the, I saw under the altars. The souls of them that were slain for the word of the Most High, and for the and for the testimony which they held. Where? That's that's talking about the elect. It's, it's talking about you know of course like Peter and uh, the apostles, and, and which shows reincarnation because that's what you're gonna see. Okay. Go ahead. Even though you don't believe in reincarnation, there's millions of clues. I'm not going to say answers for y'all non-believers is clues, okay? Because y'all looking for somebody to rise from the dead now, man. Even though there's people rising from the dead, y'all still ain't going to believe in reincarnation. You know, from the, from the zombie apocalypse. All right, go ahead. Not the zombie apocalypse, uh, Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, it's going it's gonna to be that, man. It's gonna they be, don't have these movies that you're Yeah, yeah, they're going to see you. You know, like on 28 Days Later and uh, uh, Dawn of the Dead, you know? <laughs> I like that movie because it shows what people do in the in a real life, end of the world situation, how people act. And you ain't going to be rolling no group of a, uh, Arab and, 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 and nigga and white girl and all that and, and, and punk, <laughs> punk rock and, and uh, <laughs> The white guy that sells TVs, he's running the group. The white, the, the white girl is the most compassionate one in the group. And y'all listening to her and shit? No. It's gonna be a bunch of jakes, man. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a bunch of jakes, bunch of... Everybody know their kind. Everybody know who to roll with. You know what I'm saying? You see here some Hispanics, you're gonna be like, oh shit. But you're gonna be like, yeah, we the same people. You know what I'm saying? You see some damn Edomites, you know, in a pickup truck like on the crazies. You'll be like, man, let me you know, get away from these motherfuckers, you know. But in that time, the elect, the, uh, the elect, the 144,000, we're not going to be, let me get away from these motherfuckers. That's going to be uh, shooting fish in a barrel right there. That's that's like, you know, you've been, you've been working on your martial arts all your life and, and, and never got a chance to use it. You know, you walk in the perfect situation, you know. 
That's that's what that, that's going to be. We've been working. We're working on our craft right now. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, you know that spiritual power coming. We ain't gonna get to use it. Soon we see some Edomites. You know. Just shoot 47 punk first Kung Fu Joe. <laughs> Uh, let me Isaiah 13 and 14. And it shall be as the chase rope and as the sheep that no man taketh up. Because in those times it's gonna be chaos. Y'all trying to y'all but but guess what? This society is gonna create that chaos. This this society that's really uh the foundation of it is American the American doctrine. Or the Roman the Roman uh, Roman the Roman doctrine. Okay, ancient Rome, right? That you can do what you want, be who you want, think how you want. All right, just like they said earlier. But what, what if you were Muslim and you never seen God and this and that? That's that's that's, that's that uh, that Roman that Roman talk. All right, that's that United States talk. Okay, because everybody gonna have to answer and see the, and see the big dog. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna duck the hour shot. Ain't no ducking him. Okay, the scriptures say that the whole world shall you shall see him. The whole world shall see when he comes back. Okay, you're gonna know when he comes back. So I ain't no ducking him. All right, I don't care what you believe in. You're gonna. It's gonna be a point of time where everybody's gonna meet the situation of saying, "Damn, this is what it is." You know what I'm saying? This is what you know. Regardless of what you believe in, if you're atheist, you're gonna say, "Damn, I was wrong." Oh shit! You know what I'm saying? If you're the elect, you're gonna say, "Damn, this is." This, we we we, we, we doing it. Yeah, we here. This is I not a word it the proper way, but yeah, we, yeah, we here. This is it. You know what I'm saying? The Christians are like, oh, they was right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. Your head too, yeah. oh, oh, they was they was right. They wasn't lying. Like this, you know? Well, it's all you know, conspiracy theorists. You know? Nah. Oh, here we go. Y'all know y'all know Dabu, Dabu mad. Because we out here talking about, <laughs> talking about America going down and shit. Call us uh, religious, you know. Say, ah, man wrote that. Man wrote that. I still fuck with that boo, though. He always quoting scriptures and talking about, you know what I'm saying, we need to be. This is it. Yeah. Yeah, he's Edom, he Edomite, though, you know. Exactly. He believe in basic America and be brought back. No matter how much all these conspiracy theories he's into and everything. At the end of the day, he still think America can be brought back. We all can come together. America going down. Okay, that's right. Then shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. Yeah, that's right. We everybody gonna flock to their own kind, man. All right. Basically, Israelites with Israelites. All right. Only the two thirds gonna be. I ain't rolling with those mix and Mexicans. I ain't rolling with them tomahawks. You know what I'm saying? They, that's. But the elect, we gonna roll with the elect. And this is going to be a mixed, mixed multitude, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be looking all kind of ways, man. You know? But you're going to know that's them dudes. They're coming to get anybody that don't look like them. You know what I'm saying? You know. I don't care if you're an Israelite two-third or you're a heathen. A heathen that believe. You know we're going we gonna to bust your ass, man. We out, we out there for head. We head hunting. <laughs> we don't need a real head hunting. Yeah, we, we out there, you know, and we are hunting. Okay, fishers shall be hunters, right? Shaka, yep. you know, Shaka, you know. You yeah, Shaka, yeah, Shaka our most gonna you be. You gonna get drugged by your damn braid, boy. He gonna be, he gonna be holding his braid when he see the chariot. Ah, <laughs> damn. Oh, uh, that one, that one braid to the side. How you doing? Hey, doing good, pretty good. All right, so when that day come, everybody's got some followers, too. Ain't no uh, get your avenue to God. There's only one avenue. That's the Bible. All right. And if you ain't following that avenue, we're gonna be destroyed with the rest of them. All right. By the Most High, or through the through the uh, the children of the Most High, which are the Israelites. Okay. Or through the famine. Many ways. Go ahead. Let me get this preset real quick. Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord. And they shall fish them. And after I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. Right now we're fishing. So right now when you talk about avenues and you don't know if you believe or you don't believe or God is love or um, God the Most High doesn't exist, um, that the Most High is anything or 
you can call him any name. Right now, we're we're 